Hello YouTube, Hoppy2345 back once again and today in this video I have for y'all all the bets I'm making today, Wednesday, November 16th. Before we get into that, I'm going to tell you the reasoning behind Trey Young because I did not cover him in the last video. He's the only prop that I will be adding to the bets in this video that I did not already cover in last night's video of just prop evaluation. So if you want a more in-detailed reasoning for any of the bets I'm placing today or any of the props that I'm picking, go watch that video. And I highly encourage you to go press like on that video for me either way. And if you like daily prize pick, prop evaluations, and the complete transparency of me showing you my bets verbatim and the community vibes that come with that and me commenting talking to y'all about any questions y'all have down in the comment section below this is a community channel y'all keep that community going down there with your comments also press like if you're coming back press subscribe if you're new and without any further ado let's go hop into this Trey Young, 27 and a half points we're going to be taking the under on this today once you see my bets you'll see who it's paired with I'm very confident in this because Trey Young hit this the first two games of the season. And since then, he has hit it one time against the Pelicans. Now, Trey Young is not shooting good this year. And he's playing a Boston defense that is absolutely incredible on their perimeter. So Trey Young, in my opinion, is going to have a big game pass into Clint Capella. He's going to play a good game. But 27 points just is not in the books for him right here. And I'm taking the under on Trey Young, and I'm fairly confident about that. It's probably about a four, four-and-a-half star play for me. But let's go ahead and get into my bets for the day because I want to talk about them, how I'm pairing everything up. Now, like I said, go watch that last video if you want in-detail reasoning for why I'm taking these. So in this first little flex play, the way I have it set up, I only have to hit one of these for him to fan back. So if you look back here... uh. If I hit this, I'm making back 15. That's all I'm betting today. So, And if I make 10 back on this and 10 back on this, I'm making extra money. So I like setting my plays up like that. But let's look. These two are different plays. This one's uh, just a power play made out of these two because those are my two best plays of the day in my opinion. But right up, we're going to go with the first one here for a $25 chance of winning on a four-man flex. We got Carl Anthony Towns, Shea, Clint Capella, and Donovan Mitchell. Uh, these these would probably have to be four of my favorite plays of the day as well as Mason Plumley. He's a very, very high up there. It's my favorite plays as well. But either way, Carl Anthony Towns, 12 and a half rebounds and assists i would take that because he has been an absolute passing menace lately uh this this year anyways he's been averaging more assists than he ever has his whole career with all these weapons around him and he's a pretty good passer if you watch the games and his rebounds he's actually been out rebounding go bear lately or at least competing with him and when go bears not in the game he's pulling down even more boards so i like that play for carl against the orlando magic they don't really have too much big men but if the game stays close, we're looking at a big game from Cap. Uh, Shea Gilders Alexander points, one of my favorite plays of the game. I love him as a scorer. They're playing Washington. I think this the final score of this game, if it's a blowout, could be like 120 to 100. If it's, if it's a close game, it's like 140 to fucking like 135. It's crazy. Excuse my language. But Clint Capella, more than 23.5 points, rebounds, and assists. Easy play. Uh, I actually t like his PR better. That's why I took his PR up here. But I really like PRA, too. He had three assists last game, so it's just a one up on that. But some games he ends up with zero assists. But either way, I think he can get you know get you 11 and 13 or you know 13 and 14, something like that with points and rebounds, and get this even without any assists. The assists can just be seen as like an extra credit assignment. But Donovan Mitchell. 26 and a half points um i like this play against milwaukee uh, i think cleveland will play them a close game donovan's good at hitting them pull up threes yes milwaukee has a good defense but when you're shooting them pull up threes you know eight eight times a game if it's a close game nine ten times a game you're shooting these pull up shots that are really just make or miss they're not guarding them I think Donovan will break 26 and a half, so I took that bet. Next up on our second sheet, we got Curry over in points. This is if Curry's hot, he hits it. If not, he doesn't. But they're playing Phoenix. I think he can get to the paint against this older Chris Paul. He's always cooked Chris Paul his whole career anyways. So next up, we got Josh Giddy against Washington. Like I said, I expect this game to be very high scoring. Giddy's been very, very aggressive lately. And once again, if you want more in-detailed uh talk and me telling you like how they've done in the past 10 games and stuff like that uh, that'll be in that other video that I recorded last night I do one every night I'm the earliest posting prize picks YouTube channel by far so please do press subscribe if that sounds cool to you Mason Plumley, 22.5 points rebounds and assist we got him 
going over that easily. Then we got LaMelo Ball going under 35.5 PRA. I think that's a really good play as well because of the fact that he is coming back on a minute restriction. And also, I think he can have a good game and still miss that. Mason Plumley's PRA, he averages a really good PRA. He averages 24, I think, 25. He's a good passing big man. Um, I think he can have a pretty good game tonight. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, and for the final play, this play is more of a safety valve. So if neither one of these hit, or say only one of them hit for four out of five, and I'm making ten bucks back, or this one hits for three, and I'm making seven fifty back, this can be my safety valve. It's my two best plays. I thought about putting Mason Plumley up here with these two. But I ultimately decided that I like Clint and Shea because if you do Mason Plumley with it and then flex it, it only pays two point two five. That's only eleven dollars for five buck bet. So I stuck with Clint and Shea. Uh, my cousin told me he actually said uh, that twenty eight and a half points is just too high for him to feel comfortable taking. For me, Shea under thirty and a half, regardless of matchup, is a good bet, a pretty good bet. But against the Wizards, I think it's a a slam dunk bed. I mean, Bill's not going to stay in front of him. Kuz is not going to stay in front of him. Porzingis ain't going to stay in front of him. He can shoot threes. He's, he's in my opinion, a, you know, an actual, I know he's top five in the NBA in score, but in my opinion, as far as skill goes, he's actually probably a top five scorer in the NBA. He's, he's really, really got that deep of a bag. Either way, y'all, I'm going to cut the video here. Thank y'all for watching. Please do press subscribe if you're new. Press that like button if you're coming back. Let me know how many of y'all's coming back and whatnot. But uh, uh, hoppy out. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah.